In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can take a single Microsoft Excel list and create multiple summary charts based on that one list. Let's jump in and take a look. So open in front of you, I've got a simple Microsoft Excel list. Now this exercise file that I'm gonna be working in, I've made it available for you to download so you can follow along with me. Just jump down to the description of this video, just down below, and look for the link to the Office Noob blog. There, you will find a link to download the Order Products-01 Excel document. So if you'd like to follow along, make sure you jump down there, download this file. And while you're down there, if you enjoy the video, you learn something new, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. That lets me know you're enjoying it and you're learning something new. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel. So let's jump into the file. Here, I've got a single worksheet called orders. And on there, I've got a single table that breaks down some order information for various customers. So first column I've got there is the order ID. And then I got order year, shipper, freight, and ship country. So remember, what we want to do here is quickly summarize this information utilizing charts. Now, this is actually a question that I get asked all the time inside of my Microsoft Excel course. Hey, I've got this list, detailed records. I want to summarize it, but I want multiple charts. Well, our first instinct might be, well, let's create a pivot table and start to summarize the data and create a chart based off that pivot table. But the challenge there is you create the pivot table, you summarize the data, you create a chart. As soon as you create a secondary chart and start modifying it to summarize different data, they're all connected to one another. So you change the chart, it changes the pivot table, which changes the other chart. I don't want that to happen. I want multiple charts based on a single data source that I can have each chart display different summary information. Here's how you do it. So our first step, and this is a very important one, is we need to format our list as a table. This is step one. So I'm gonna go up to my Home tab, make sure I'm clicked into my list somewhere. On the Home tab, I'll go over to Format as Table. And you can pick your flavor, whatever you want here, doesn't matter. So I'd like blue, I'm gonna grab the medium, first option there, blue, we'll grab that. Got my range, A1 to E319. My table does have headers, check, check. And I'm gonna hit okay. And there's my nice formatted table. Now, as soon as I did that, I got a new tab there called table design. And I can go over to the table name and I'm gonna call this TBL orders. It's a table, I'll call it orders. All right, now that's important as well because we need to reference that inside of our pivot charts. Now. Once it's formatted as a table, I'll then go to my Insert tab. I'm gonna go over to Pivot Chart, hit the lower half, then I'm gonna create a Pivot Chart. Now, inside of our Create Pivot Chart window, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use the Select a Table or Range, but I'm gonna use an external data source. Now, this might be a bit misleading because our data is actually internal inside the document, but if I go to Use External Data Source, I'll choose a connection, go to my tables tab, and I'm gonna grab my new table there called TBL orders, and I'll hit okay, or open. All right, now I'm gonna place the chart inside of the existing worksheet, and the location really doesn't matter, but I'm gonna select a cell here, and I'll hit okay. All right, we've got the beginnings of our pivot chart. So now I wanna summarize the information. Let's say I wanna do ship country in the categories access, and I wanna do the freight inside the values. So now I've got a nice little column chart there showing off the total freight for each of the countries. Let's resize that a little bit. I'm just gonna knock it down because I wanna place another chart in here. We can modify the chart and change colors in the title and so on, right? And it's a normal chart. You do all your normal things with charts inside of Excel. Well, I'm gonna go back to my data, back to insert, pivot chart, pivot chart, We'll do the same thing, external data source, choose connection, tables. I'll grab my TBL orders and I'll open. All right, existing worksheet, pick a location. Now 
for this one, see here we got total freight by country. Let's do total freight by shipper. So I'll drag shipper down to the category, freight into values. Nice. Maybe I don't want another column chart this time. With that chart selected, I'll go to design, change chart type, and maybe I want to do a pie chart. There we go. And I can resize it and format it and do whatever I need to with that chart. Now I can continue going here. Remember, it's a single list, but summarizing it multiple ways with different charts. Now, one other thing I like to do here is I want to supply a filter so I can filter out these chart results. Maybe I want to do this for the year. We got the order year inside this list. So with one of the charts selected, I'll go to my pivot table analyze tab and I'm going to grab insert slicer. Now for my slicer, I get to pick from the valid field headings. I'll grab ship. Let's say I'm going to grab order year. I'll hit OK. And here's my slicer. Now we need to make a little tweak to this. I'm just resizing it here. As I select a year like 1996, you're going to see one of my charts update. My little pie chart updated. When I initially created the slicer, I had that chart selected. But I want both charts to update. So with the slicer selected, I'll go to my slicer tab, report connections, and I'm going to make sure I got both my chart one and chart two selected. I'll hit OK. And as I select different years, you're going to see my charts update. Pretty slick. One list, multiple charts. Now I can continue going here. Maybe I want to create a, another chart, maybe a line chart that gives me a total count of orders for each country. You know, I, I want to encourage you to try this out. Create a few other charts. Make sure you got your slicer there. Can connect that slicer to your different charts and try filtering your results. Try it out. So just like that, taking a single list and summarizing it with multiple charts. One chart to summarize the freight by country, another one to summarize the total count of orders by country, and perhaps one for shippers for total freight. And we can throw in the slicer to do a little bit of filtering in there. So I hope you've learned something new. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we post to this channel on Microsoft Excel and other content. So jump in there, try it out, create your charts. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.